Hey YouTube family, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today we're gonna do with some shrimp fried rice, and I'm telling you, you're gonna love this recipe. So these are the ingredients. I got a pound of large shrimp that I went and cleaned and deveined, and I've also got here some Shao Zing cooking wine, and I got some Weber's roasted and garlic herb seasoning along with Weber's um, honey and garlic seasoning, and then I have some fish sauce along with some butter, some chopped parsley, and some chopped garlic cloves, all right? Now, this is what we're gonna do. Here's the process. I want you to take all of your ingredients that I just showed you and have, your, have a nice size bowl and just go ahead and start incorporating some of these ingredients, all right? Now, you can use your own measurements. Trust and believe me, you cannot go wrong without um, you with using your own measurements. So, now what I'm gonna end up doing um, I'm tossing in a little olive oil at the end of this, as you've seen, I just added some olive oil and I just want to give these shrimps a nice little toss in the veggies and this um, herb seasoning and I just want to get everything blended up so good to where I want to move it to the side and I want it to marinate for at least around about 35 minutes, okay? Now, while these are marinating for the next 35 minutes, let me just show you the next process now since this is over with. This is going to cook these shrimp. Now, I got me a wok, okay? I got my wok on high heat and I'm taking some olive oil. The only thing I want to do now is just basically cook the shrimp. Cook them and get them out of the way. Let's do that now. shrimps are now cooked we're going to go ahead and put them into a bowl and we want to set these babies to the side i'm telling you something right now i didn't ate about two of these babies so i know that they're good just as they are right now but we're going to take it a little step further so here i got some bean sprouts all right so i'm going to take me some bean sprouts add them to a bowl because i want to take this up and cook it up, kick it up a notch and i also have here a chinese cabbage now the chinese cabbage is different from our everyday going to the grocery store cabbage and i'm going to show you the difference in between our cabbage and the chinese cabbage normally when you go ahead and you cut into our cabbage it's basically a whole cabbage all together but here it is airy you have some air pockets in the chinese cabbage which makes it a little bit lighter and I'm telling you, the flavor is a lot more better than what we normally buy out of the um, grocery stores. But I'm telling you right now, you'll love this recipe. If you try this, please get the Chinese cabbage. You can find these ingredients at the Asian market. So I cut it up in thin slices and I'm adding these thin sliced cabbage um, strips to the bean sprouts. And I want to give them a nice toss. And I'm also going to use some frozen peas and some frozen carrots to go along with this okay so you can just go to the grocery store in that frozen section get you a bag of frozen peas and um, frozen carrots it'll be just as best than using the fresh stuff why not there you go now i give this a toss and if you want to add a little bit more extra peas and carrots do so all right it's your shrimp and rice of course it is now let's go ahead and um, we're going to go and prepare this baby up real quick because I know y'all hungry and definitely we ready to roll. But in between time, I got one egg that I'm going to beat up and I'm going to set that baby to the side. I got my wok turned back on on high heat. So I'm adding in some olive oil to this and I got one sliced onion. This is a diced onion. I got a half a diced onion that I'm throwing inside the wok and I just want to cook the onions for about a good two minutes and then I want to throw in the bean sprouts, the cabbage and also the carrots and the peas and I just want to cook these babies on top for about three minutes. That's all I want to do. Now once I've done that, I want to go ahead and just make some space on the side. All right, I'm just going to move the veggies right over to the side and then when I do that, I'm going to show you my next step that I'm about to do. 
all right, because we still want to add more flavor to this here wok. Now, what I'm going to do now is something that nobody is really doing, but anyway, I'm going to show you anyway. Just take you some salt and just put it in, in the um, wok and then take some of this here. I love this here, y'all. I got this here from Ross. And as you can know, this is like a spicy ingredients. Anything spicy will work. Then I'm using some of this here accent, all right? Just a little food flavoring for your shrimp, fried shrimp rice. Did I say that right? Shrimp fried rice. There you go. And then I'm also tossing in the egg. I want to give it a nice little mix inside the seasonings. Then I want to just go ahead and just incorporate the vegetables all together into one pot. Okay, it might not be fancy, but it's dang so good. It's better than some of the takeouts that you go out here at the Chinese store and buy. I ain't exaggerating. I'm telling y'all the honest God truth. So, I am just want to move everything around, okay? Get the egg incorporated with, with the veggies. And we already got it seasoned up. So, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to need no seasonings to this. So, the next thing that, that we do want to do is, I, I, if you got you some rice that you want to try to cook, one day ahead of time you go and you do so me i like the, the easier way out i went to my local um asian restaurant and just got me an order of rice and just use that hey it's better for me to do it that way than me for me to cook rice and just wait for the next day to use it so you could just take this um tip for what it's worth and use it so i got some dark soy sauce y'all look get the dark soy sauce the dark soy sauce will add color to your fried rice i'm telling you right now you cannot go wrong with this now it does not make it salty at all but it will definitely give you a nice color to your fried rice so just mix everything together and as you can see right now this fried rice is looking good basically you can add whatever you want to this you can add the three meats shrimp steak chicken or you could just add chicken or you could just add steak or you could just eat it by itself no matter what this is what we've got so i tossed in my shrimp and i just want to go ahead and give everything a nice little toss and i'm ready to set this baby to the side i want you guys to take a look at this real quick So I really had to set this plate now, man, because I'm telling you the smell, the aroma that my kitchen has when I'm cooking this here, y'all, it is simply the best for me, all right? Would I go back to another Chinese restaurant and order this particular stuff? Yes, I will. But if I know that I could do this at home, why not? Sometimes, man, there's nothing wrong with just sitting at home and just cooking it for yourself. Give it a try. I guarantee you will love it. This is your boy Ray Mack. I want to say love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.